Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Hey, just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the winning court, Brian Glaze Gibbs. And like I say, this is my story. This is my ministry. Like I was once the problem. Now what I seek to do, I try to utilize my past experience to stop these young kids that picking up that brick, throwing at the prison wall for absolutely nothing. Crime doesn't pay. There's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into, hard to get out, man. Like I said, I was once one of y'all guys. I was once one of those snotty nose, naughty head kid, want to be down, want to be cool. Nobody could tell me anything. You out there in the front, you know, he's trying to impress people, want to commit crime, trying to impress the girl, want to get fly, trying to make fast money, trying to live off the land, the concrete jungle, man. It's easy to get in trouble, hard to get out. Listen, for more of my story, man, Google. The name Brian Glace Gibbs. See what you come over. Listen, this is a brand new platform, brand new channel, starting over. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. What you gonna get? Nothing candy coat. I don't try to candy coat anything. I don't have to. Right now is get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky Book, the Brian Glace Gibbs story. True story. Crack money, murder, redemption. Like I say, I was once a problem. Now I'm seeking to be part of the solution. How do you do that? Hey, like I said right now is, um, today what I'm talking about is people from your past, man. You know, I got this guy, like I said right now, just came home. And right now is, he speak about who he was and some of the things that he did. He speak about, you know, calling me all type of name, every name in the book, except for the child of God. But the main thing is right now is, for some reason, you come home from doing 30 years. Let people know, like, yo, it's not worth it. Don't get on here on somebody else's platform. You're trying to belittle me over some nonsense. You call me every name in the book, so much of animosity, so much of hatred. Why? Because why? Because once again, I know the truth. Why? Because of what? Tell him. Tell him why. Let's listen to something, something that he wound up saying on somebody else's platform. Let me see if I can get it up right now. Uh, I'm trying to play it right now because I want people to hear it. I want this guy. Listen to him. Listen to the stuff that he's saying. I want you to be able to hear it. This is Russell Chris. That nigga head off a long time ago that they did that nigga Alpo. You see what I'm saying? It took, it took, it took people coming out, people coming out to take care of niggas like that. He's a fucking rat. Get him that, out. And they, he talking shit. He didn't even know how to be a rat and just be quiet and stay like a rat high. He wanted to be a rat and expose. Oh, I ain't a rat. Oh, I be here. I ain't a rat. No, it's I ain't testifying. So, once again, this cat talking about, man, like, um, somebody should knock my head off like they did Alpo. You know, when you sit back and you look at it, like, wow, man, like, hold up, wait a minute here, man. So, sometime right now, people want that because they know you know their secret. They know you know them or whatever, you know. This guy want to walk around like, you know, okay, you did 30. I'm sorry for you. I don't want nobody to do a date. You know, let alone 30 years, our life died in there. This individual is bitter, frustrated. But once again, he talking mad trash. And even right now, it's like I tell you, I know this guy. I know this guy's history. And he talked mad trash, and I don't really appreciate it. Let's listen to some more of the things he's talking about. He was who he was. Who he was. Let me see. To know me is to love me, sex and money. And that was it. I kept it moving. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't that big. I wasn't that small. I was just me. I was just fine with me. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So something like that, you know. Listen. The, 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 the guy the guy, the guy saying that right now is he made a statement that he was a lady man. And I, I, I'm trying to get to that part. 
that what he's saying he was a lady man. And I want to understand what's the definition of a lady man. This guy said he was a woman, man. Rasta Chris, y'all, said he was a woman, man. Wow. What is your definition of a woman? From my understanding, the definition of a woman, and I still think they're not really a woman at 18. But he said he was a woman, man. Okay? Guys, this guy right now is between the age of, like you said right now, 19 to the time that he went away. Like I said right now, 19 to 26. He was dealing with 12, 13, 14, 15 years old girls. So to me, because you are molesting them, you are raping them, you are taking advantage of them, you are giving these young girls money, you know, to have sex with them. Those are your girls. But you say you are a lady man. Right now is here it is the same philosophy you took to prison. When you don't see nothing wrong with you letting these guys, you know what I'm saying, going up in the back of you. And you, you, you love sex. You, 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 you a woman, man. So now you are a young boy, man. Come on, man. What I'm saying is, like I told you right now, is let he or she go out sin cast the first stone. I'm listening to you, man. 30 years of frustration. 30 years of hatred. And to me, like I said right now, is you got 30 years, like you say, not because of the weed, but because of karma. Because of you raping and taking advantage of these 12, 30, you're a child molester. You're a rapist. Right now, nothing more, nothing less. And like I said right now, guess what? And see, that's the sick mentality of our society. Because a lot of us know it, but what did we do? You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like me, I knew it, but what did I do? I didn't do nothing because, okay, it was in my system. Okay, it was my cousin. It was my family members. So a lot of people felt that because that's not our child, that's not our daughter, that's not our relative, we turned a blind eye. That's what's wrong with society. We've seen certain things being done wrong, but everybody turned a blind eye. We like justice. Justice is blind. We know Rasta Chris right now, this grown man. You want to act like you this businessman, you, you making all this money, you living a life. Driving around with your tag, you know what I'm saying, Jaguar. You know what I'm saying, right now, dealing with these young girls. 13, 14, 15, 16 years old. So is that right? But right now is, guess what? We are criminals. We are in a, a drug-infested area, in a environment. But right is right, wrong is wrong. That was wrong. You was a professional pedophile. You was a professional child molester. You was Jeff Epstein. You was R. Kelly of the neighborhood of, you know, St. Cypress, Pink Houses, uh, 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 Linden Plaza, that whole little community. And a lot of us, including myself, we was guilty because we let your sorry behind got away with that. So right now, come on, hold, you want to hold yourself accountable? You this, you that. Look what you're talking about. Oh, man, God's coming home. What they going to do? People come home right now, they going to mind their damn business. They're going to knock my head off. Be my guest, man. When it's my time, it's my time. I'm 92 years old. So if it's my time, it's my time, man. Like I said right now, but I guarantee you, you wouldn't have done it. You could see me right now. And you want to be, oh, no, no. Oh, I, I didn't mean that. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Oh, somebody paid me to say that. Come on, man. Everybody know who you was, man. You was a coward. You never right now was would have had that same energy face to face from when we was kids. And you're a few years older than me. You're a few years older than me. And like you said right now is, guess what? Here it is. Yes, your brother was in, yeah, good people. Rasta T, Eton, good people. You was always a little slimy, little, you know, little, you know, 
<laughs> what they say, if you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. So I'm going to leave it as that, though. But once again, man, stop getting on here, wanting these people to think you was more than what you was. You say he got an art and craft. When you got that life, what you was doing. Those guys told me straight up, nah, you didn't went by Rasta Chris in there. You didn't want people to know you was Jamaican in there. You was West Indian there. Because you have to be a part of a certain car. And if you was a part, are you supposed to be a Rasta or Jamaican or West Indian? Guess what? And you was having a homosexual behavior. And dealing with guys in there, letting them ram you. Guess what would have happened? You would have caught a bad one. So you know what? You played good. You're American. You know? <laughs> you ain't no Rasta. No, you, you went away from the Rasta foreign. Like a Rasta Chris. Rah, rah, rah. Like you in there. Oh, I did this. Oh, everybody knew you was, man. You remember the time? Let's sit back and think about it. Anytime you had an incident and you try to, you, how many of these young kids, these young guys, once again, you torture, beat them down, you and whoever. And the difference right now is that's our fault in the community because we turn a blind eye. Man, say, wish that was my brother. Wish that my little cousin. Wish that you knew who to deal with. You knew who to pick on. You know, come on, bro. Like I said right now, let people know. Who the hell is Rasta Chris? The real Rasta Chris. Nah, buddy. You know, I went to Queens. I got down. Bro, like I tell you right now, all that stuff was wrong. But the difference is right now is, guess what? History is history. And I'm not proud of the person I once was. But I'm proud of the person I am today. So once again, like I said right now, is you can keep that negative energy in London. And right now, guess what, brother? Like I say, I'm free. I've been free. So I don't care what anybody think, what anybody say. You know, people come home, let them come home. Like I said right now, where I come from, you have to. In order to get somebody, you got to, you, come on. You can't get somewhere. You can't come after somebody. You're going after somebody, so you're going to go on touch. So some, they going, like I told you right now, Alpo die, why? Not because of what you're saying. So get the heck out of here with that little nonsense or whatever, man. I still think you stuck where you left. World have changed, man. It's a whole totally different world, man. And I pity you because once again, man, you get on with this idiot. He got his little platform and you let him egg you on. You know what I'm saying? This dude's a cartoon character, a professional cartoon character. You know what? Who knows? Y'all probably basically was lovable when y'all was away. You probably know. That's what you probably know him for because y'all both got that same tendency. Like I say, folks, listen, man. You know, let he or she while sin cast the first stone. And like I tell you right now, and guess what? I was once a problem. Now I'm seeking to be part of the solution. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. Peace, love, and prosperity. Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, Kelly, what you reading? Oh, man, bro. This is such a good book. Super dope book. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thank you.